Hi, I'm Jonathan Allison. We're here in London in my office and we're here to talk through the menswear and womenswear SS21 collections. We would have done a men's and women's wear um, show at this time of year. Um, obviously the circumstances happening globally have obviously changed um, the way in which we have approached the show but in terms of myself and with the team it's this idea of like an act of defiance to try to um, work creatively around solutions to be able to present something that um, I think is very important for us to keep the momentum. This season we've decided to kind of make it a piece of ephemera, um, this idea of male art and kind of using pieces of um, printing techniques and leftover fabrics and pressing of flowers to sort of tell a story narrative um, uh, through our process of the lockdown, quarantine and the many things that have gone on since the beginning of the year. This season we worked with OKRM and the entire the design team and all parts of the company um, to come up with um, a document that is to be sent via the mail. Uh, and you know it really was kind of looking at this idea of emotion uh, when you kind of receive something and the, the art of like packing. Uh, we took leftover fabrics and we screen printed a piece of text that I had done with a calligrapher and inside you receive a folder which has uh, components. Inside here is, is sort of interact. Um, it comes with um, four handmade nails and a piece of wax cotton. The idea is that it's actually looking at the, the make, the idea of the idea that even something as simple as the nail um, can be made by hand. OKRM were able to kind of look, work with us and kind of coming up with a format of, you know, using different paper stocks, uh, different fonts, and sort of like the idea of tactility. So with this paper, it's sort of a really kind of nice, um, it's got a nice patina to it. Inside, you are um, approached by, uh, the collection was using, we worked with an artist uh, Paul Anglada and we made uh, masks like this in which we used because obviously we couldn't use models. I wanted to create a character so you have a mask which then comes with the cord which you can um, turn it into a mask for yourself. Every so often there's little pressed flowers. You know I spent a lot of time in the garden and I kind of thought that it was something that was really kind of this idea of like going back to making things on your own and how to kind of uh, go back to handcraft or making or telling stories. In here you have our the press release. I've included um, some swatches of fabric that we have in the collection. And this gives a, a very detailed um, list of what went on into each piece. Here are some materials uh, that we have for it. And then each of the looks um, are presented in different formats. So for example, we have this one which is like perforated. Um, some go into uh, A4, uh, some are cut into fours. And the idea is that you really you can tell and experience the story in your, in your own way um, and take time to kind of embrace each sort of thing in your own, in your own pace. I didn't really want to um, force it down people's throats. Um, I wanted something that they could kind of have a cup of coffee in the morning and go through or in the evening. And the idea is that you can take all, this, all these components and kind of reassemble. Each thing can be cut up. And then we have posters like this. So that kind of takes us all the way through like that. And then within men's, you know, I really love the first look. I just, I like this idea of that we took all different MAC fabrics we'd ever used and we kind of collaged them in into this idea of a kind of utilitarianness, this idea of patchwork, this idea of assemblage, you know, like kind of rebuilding on a silhouette that we had kind of focused on this idea of the cape and how do you make the cape into a jacket, into a hoodie. And I really think there's something here that is sort of like there is a timelessness to it, but at the same time there is, um, there is an element 
that this piece is, uh, it has, it, you can't really place it within a decade. And I think that's something that I think is very, very important right now. In look 25, um, this one here, my grandmother many, 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 many years ago had this sort of like um, needle point on in her house. And when she passed away, she gave it to me. And it was like something that I've always had weirdly in every single studio. And when we were doing this collection, I kind of was like, looking a lot of how people were kind of reverting back to craft or rever reverting back to making. So we redid the entire thing onto a sweater through hand knit, and then we kind of like flipped the colors. So I quite like the sort of out the outdoor boating psychedelia. And then with uh, the Otis Poor on Gladder, we kind of transferred on like in Look 39, you have um, knits where we discharge printed on top. And this idea that they're kind of nearly like hanging tapestries, this idea of kind of oversized knits that nearly became going back to this idea of the shared wardrobe where pieces are not really tied to any gender it's whatever you want it to be we did a lot of um jacketing of different sort of like fabrics that you would nearly get domestic fabrics like wallpapers and uh, upholstery fabrics and kind of nearly as if they were kind of put through a photocopier over and over again so that was in look 26 and then we get on to women's uh, once again, we've kind of taken the bags that we developed uh, this season and in classics like the cat bag. And this time we worked with a mask maker. I kind of like this idea that the woman's was, you know, we have um, the illustration, we have like the kind of woven mask, this idea of like collaborating with different people in their own craft. And I like this idea that it was like kind of into the void nearly. And once again, it is on the similar format. So, you know, the pre, we really have a kind of like, you know, this explore, exploration, like sort of draping and soft silhouettes. And it, this idea of going back to the mannequin, the, actually, I found this whole process quite cathartic in a weird way, because it sort of, it's actually made me feel like I've restarted my brand somehow. And I, th I think it's been kind of um, a really beautiful process to kind of slow down and kind of embrace what we do best. This is a kind of a large poster, which we like. In the resort collection, we uh, looked at this idea of kind of, you know, because we had to kind of work on a mannequin, it kind of made, made me kind of really think about how to use draping and how to use kind of flu in a very different way. Um, I really like this look here. It nearly has like wings. It's sort of um, this idea that when the wearer is in it, it becomes a completely different thing. So this idea of motion um, becomes really important. I think because we were working statically, I think it was really good that we really engineered things that once they became off the mannequin, they became something which was sort of like um, quite poetic and light at the same time. The accessories this year, we've got some new bags. We've got a lid. We launched the season before. We had this one here, which is part of this family. Um, Obviously, it's based on a very early 20s fisherman's bag. Uh, we have these very hard lids. And I kind of like this idea of something which was like a fisherman's bag slash a toolbox, something which sort of had craft at the heart of it. We worked with a basket maker to do a special edition. And then this is our new one, which I, I'm really excited about because it's sort of, it's like a little bucket, but it's, it's sort of, it's hard. So it's kind of um, quite petite, but sort of, I think it's really new in its, its approach. When I think of Britain, I always think of this idea of fishing as a kind of, a, it's a hobby, but at the same time as a sport. There is something which is always about calmness and reflection. Um, I think it's a kind of solitary thing sometimes to do as fishing. When I was researching all these kind of early bags, I kind of really liked that there was a lot of engineering on lids and things. There's a masculinity, there's a femininity to it. You know, it's something like the beauty case. So I'm super excited about this this season. And then with men's, we have a new backpack where we've made it of recycled plastic bottles and, poly and recycled polyester, which we've been working on for a while. It's been something that I really wanted to get right as a kind of part of a building of new classicism within the brand. So through the box, you have these sort of like, um, I, I kind of like to see these as like pauses for thought or moments. Like everyone who has been at home, there's by watching the news or being around friends or family. And when you kind of uh, looking at general media, there seems to be like pun lines. And I, I wanted to kind of think of um, 
positive things that have been said to me throughout this whole thing uh, that really kind of gets has helped me get through this whole process creatively and it's like you know keep looking up you know something I've always believed in and is the idea of never to compromise you know the end is the beginning and the future is unwritten and I think for me we're in such um, a kind of poignant moment but in a very exciting moment because I think we can reinvent um, we can reinvent ourselves, we can reinvent how we approach creativity. I think creativity is incredibly important in times of, um, in troubled times, because I think it makes us reconnect with the idea of making, the idea of creative um, philosophies, the idea of um, being able to kind of reinforce what, what you believe in, and sometimes to dismantle what you believe in. You know, for me, these are kind of nearly like something that you would kind of find by accident in a, a library book. Um, and I think it's sort of like a kind of, yeah, a moment in time. For me, it's a sort of, this moment is being kind of uh, good to sort of embrace new ways of being able to communicate. I, I think going back to the making of like letter writing or really kind of exploring how to kind of present information has been something that I think has been really kind of at some moments poignant and at the same time quite um, quite emotional to do. I think, you know, this collection I think I will always remember doing and I'm glad it's, in a weird way I'm glad it was this way because I think it is about the detail, it's about understanding who you are, why you design and, and why I love making clothing and making products. And I like something that the viewer could take these pieces, you could nail the fabric to the wall, you can nail the mask, and the string together, you can kind of create from this another collage. Um, so it doesn't really finish here, it kind of will continue on to something else.